Hey guys, Marion Blair here. One of the things I like to do periodically is check the state of my battery. Now this is a Duracell AGM that came out of my RAM and uh, I replaced them both. I kept this one. This one is not totally bad, but it's, I'm going to show you in a minute what it looks like. Now, an AGM, you can't use this. It's a hydrometer. And it works fine if you've got a, uh, a cap where you can get to your electrolyte. But the AGMs, the electrolyte, is absorbed in a uh, glass mat. So, you know, you couldn't use this even if you could get to it. But nonetheless, uh, these, and these work fine. And they'll give you the state of your battery. Even when it's fully charged, you can tell what the state of your electrolyte is and whatnot. But that's not what we're going to focus on right here. That's an alternative, like I said, if you have access to the, the acid. Now this is a cheap Harbor Freight, belongs to one of my friends, load tester. And it looks complicated, but it's very, very simple. And all you do with this thing, and we'll, we'll zoom in here in a second and we'll do a load test on it. In fact, let's do that right now. Let me see if I can focus in on this thing with my old shaky hands. What this is, is a, as I mentioned, a Harbor Freight. Well, it says Chicago Electric. And uh, it's got a scale here, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. If you look down at your Duracell down there, whatever kind of battery you got, you'll see cold cranking amps. The one behind me there happens to be a 800 cold cranking amps, came out of my RAM. And uh, so we're gonna use 800. If it swings this way, it's weak. If it stays within the green, it's okay. So as you can see, we've got it hooked up now. Positive and negative terminal on the battery. You can see it's running about, oh, right under 13 volts, which means that it's fully charged right now. So you might ask yourself, what the hell, how does this thing work? Well, the way it works is it's a grid heater. That's right, just like the one on the RAM. The only thing is this one hadn't dropped a bolt in the engine yet, but it truly is a, a heater made just, not made like, but operates just like the grid heater in your RAM. Only this one only throws a hundred amps. When we flip the switch, the grid heater on your RAM pulls about 225 amps. Quite a difference. So we're going to turn it on for 10 seconds. We're going to count one to 10, and then we're going to see where it drops. Now this battery, they tell you to let the battery slack for about, I don't know, several hours, up to 12 hours. I haven't done that. It's been on charge. So it may show a little better than it is, but nonetheless, we're going to do it anyway. So here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you can see that this, this thing dropped all the way down about ten and a half, ten point six volts or something. So, and it's already discharged it down to 12.2 volts. So that battery is no good. Now, if we took a voltmeter when it was fully charged, even after it slacked, and put it across the battery poles, it would probably read 12.7. This thing's heating up. It would probably read fine. So you need some means to put a load on it to be able to test it. Can't use a hydrometer, as I said. So that works fine for 20 bucks. I think it's probably worth it. I'm not selling these things or nothing. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's a good good thing to have if you want to check your battery. Now if you check them on your truck what I would do is disconnect my positive and negative battery just to be safe. You may not need to but that's what I would do. So that's the quickie on the load tester. Appreciate you guys watching my video and until next time. Adios.